Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite products which have been recently my favorite kajal the Wet n Wild Color Icon Kajal and yes I have two of them right here because I ordered two together so um, basically I've been using them in my videos as well so if you've been watching my makeup tutorials you would know that I have been using these and this is the packaging this is actually the full size or more there was a little bit more I did sharpen it a little and this is what I have been using the color is black black or Neuer Neuer this is Bro and Eyeliner Pencil and the name is Color Icon. It's by Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is a US drugstore brand. I ordered this through, uh, I get a lot of these type of questions that where did you order your elf from or you know this Wet n Wild from. I ordered it from beautyjoin.com which is like a website but I have heard that people have had bad incidents with them as well. I haven't for personal reasons maybe they like me a little too bit much but I don't know that but if you've had a black bad experience just let me know because I order online a lot a lot so I always need good websites so about the kajal see I'm a kajal junkie I apply kajal every single day and with me what the thing is that um, nothing stays on my eyes somehow it all just uh, goes up in the corners or just I don't know where does it disappear it's so frustrating and annoying and irritating that it's not there because I applied like in the morning so much and in like I apply actually I leave for college at about 8 every day almost so um, when I'm leaving and I come back by 4 but it's not there even by like 2 so that's like 4 hours it's not there and Colossal Kajal, Iconic Kajal, they all say that you're there for 12 hours. No, you're not there for 12 hours. You're not even there for 2 hours properly. It starts to fade after 2 hours and it's so annoying and irritating. So I'm not saying that this Kajal is there for 12 hours. But what I have seen with this Kajal is that it does stay for 5 hours. Which is like a lot for my eyes. <laughs> I was so happy to find a Kajal that stays up to 5 hours. And without uh, you know just kind of putting any eyeshadow over it to layer it. Or the other technique that I have told in my how to make your Kajal stay for all day long i would link that video it's one of my most popular not advertising over here but i would link that in the bottom bar so if you want to check that out you can check that out as well so about this kajal this uh, packaging it's a slick pencil black color with silver you know inscriptions and writing on it i do wish this was an automatic pencil but for the pricing the prices would be in the bottom bar so make sure to open that up as well because i don't really remember because i ordered like a huge lot of stuff and um this was one of it so i don't really remember so uh, i do wish it was like an automatic pencil because in sharpening a lot of product goes to waste because the pen the actual kajal is so soft that when you sharpen it it breaks off really easily so i think that's one of the con that you know it just um, the pencil is really really soft so even in sharpening it just kind of goes bazinga so i guess uh, if they, if they could have uh, turned it into automatic and just uh, increase the price by like half a dollar or something but you know whatever floats their boat but it is a really good product it's really really smooth i'll show you a swatch and i'll just do it in front of you so uh, you want it from front or side i'll do it both okay so i hope you can see that i'll just hold it by the end it's really really smooth i hope it came out okay it was i was really light and that's the pigmentation it has i'll just do it from side so i can see it as well with a dark application that's how dark it is the above one is with a light handed application and the below one is with a dark handed application and I'll show you wh what happens when you apply it twice that's the pigmentation it has it's really pigmented it's really soft it glides on your eyes no doubt but it's too soft so when you sharpen it it tends to break off so you you waste a lot of product I guess so these are the swatches for the kajal but it does stay up to a very very long time um, there are no claims that, has, that they've made that it stays on for this or that or anything but it's not tested on animals and it is written in, oh, it is written over here that it's not tested on animals which is a really really nice thing the thing that I do feel about this also is that it can tend to break the cap or the pencil because it's the cap uh, Although the plastic is sturdy but uh, I feel it can break because I carry this to my college every day and I have to actually keep it like in a really safe place so it doesn't break off or something. Whoa, my chair. Because I really really like this kajal and I actually have two of them. I actually order every kajal in sets of two. I have an Avon kajal which is in sets of two. I have Colossal in set of two. I have Iconic in set of two. So because I just 
we are kajal so much that i i am always running out of it but if you can see this watches this is actually one of my favorites out of all of the lot because it stays on um, for like really really long time and let's just actually do um, the removal test also because i do have the cleansing cream with me and uh, i'll just get a little bit of cotton Okay, so here's the cotton and here's the cleansing cream. This is Garnier Gentle Cleansing Milk. If you want to see a review on this, I actually do have it on my channel. I would link that in the bottom bar as well. I'll just take a little bit of the cleansing uh, milk on my palm and actually that's uh, you know I seen Colossal Kajal. I have seen Colossal Kajal ads and they just uh, you know swipe across the rhymes like it's smudge free. That doesn't happen in real life. Just let me give you a. Uh, heads up you know even if i smudge this it will get smudged it does get smudged because it's it's a soft pencil it will get smudged okay so now let's just see how easy is it remove is it to remove the kajal and i'm not able to see basically this much is how much i would uh, go for removing i won't budge more than this and it's still there you see this cleansing milk and not makeup remover there's a difference between cleansing milk and makeup remover so please take that into consideration as well and um, with cleansing milk it is still there even the one that was applied with the lightest hand is still there so that gives you a fair amount of idea about the pigmentation and staying power of this uh, kajal so this was a really really quick review and i will just show you next how i apply this kajal like it's the it's the normal way of how kajal is applied but um somehow i feel showing it to you because people say that with review please do demo as well and i'm sorry i'm looking downwards because i'm trying to clean up my hand yep almost done yes so somehow uh, i'll just play with my phone okay somehow because people like uh, reviews with a demo and with this pencil i think there is no other demo than just showing you how to apply this and like basically how i apply kajal uh, on a daily wear thing so what I, the only thing i do is that i take my kajal i think it is sharpen or it's not i'll take the other one safe way out okay so i just take the kajal i just kind of push in my under eye and i just apply just go in small strokes i don't go like big swipe but i go in small strokes because i feel that way more product is getting there on the eye and i have more better handed application and then i just pull up my eye and i tight line as well same small strokes to cover my complete waterline and tight line this is just how i apply my kajal i'll show you the other eye small strokes go back and forth tight lining can uh, look little dangerous on screen yeah so that's just how i apply my kajal any type of kajal that's the way i apply it with small strokes uh, just in order to get more color there and have more you know kind of uh, hand on the application so just let me check yep yeah that's fine so yes that's how i apply my kajal and i hope you like this short sweet review of wet and wild it's one of my favorite kajal right favorites It's one of my favorite kajals right now. I wear this daily nowadays. So if you like, if you have this and you like it, do tell me. If you have any other favorite which stays on for like really long time, do tell that to me as well. And please tell me something that's uh, not too. Don't tell me something that's really uh, you know expensive because I wear kajal daily. And I'm, as I said, I'm always running out of it. And I can't spend like a thousand bucks on my kajal because I would finish it up in a month. So. Please tell me something that's worth it, and the pr prices would be in the bottom bar. I hope you guys, la 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 la, I can't speak. I hope you guys like this review. Please do try this out. It's a really nice product, and I only review products that I really really like, and only a few of them are ones like I really hate or have more 
cons than pros because if you if you're only seeing like cons it's like it's a waste of time you won't even buy it so i like to do product reviews which you can actually buy and use and and this product is actually one of those which you can use so if you guys try this out then please let me know and yes i hope you guys like this review if you did then please rate comment and subscribe i will see you guys day after tomorrow till then take care bye